What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about the Xiaomi Mi 9T. I've been using this phone for about a month, so I just wanted to update you guys on it. Uh, as you can see, I did uh, change the uh, case on this phone. At first I was using the standard case, and then uh, I dropped the phone a few times, and um, the screen didn't crack or anything, so, you know, on accident. But, uh... I got a case just to make sure I don't crack the display, but uh, it did survive, you know, a drop test, I guess. Uh, but the one negative thing that I kind of miss uh, coming from the P20 is that there's no Google now. You just have Xiaomi's thing over here, whatever this is. I never use it. Uh, it's just not useful at all. I mean, you can customize it, but it's just not as useful as Google Now would be. And uh, so that's the only thing about this phone that I don't really like. And I've seen uh, a couple of you guys ask me about the icons on here. Now you can change the icons uh, by changing the theme or you can put a launcher on here. So some people don't like these square uh, looking icons. And uh, I definitely feel you on that, but they don't bother me enough for me to really install a launcher. Now, one of the things I was waiting for was this phone to lag. Uh, before I got this phone, I saw Dave 2 d review on the uh, 9T and the K20 Pro and uh, he was talking about lag issues and uh, that's one thing I was kind of concerned about but as you can see I have not had a lag problem yet um, I did have an update or a few updates for this phone uh, when I got it so maybe his wasn't updated but um, I just haven't had a lag problem with this guy at all. It's been extremely fast, smooth. I've you know installed all my games and stuff on here. I have a lot of uh, stuff on here, and just scrolling through uh, the UI and everything is very smooth. Uh, nothing is like slow. Uh, so I was waiting for that. This phone has 6 gigabytes of RAM, the Snapdragon 730, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's just a fast phone, especially when multitasking and just flying through apps. So if you are worried about this phone slowing down, because maybe you saw that review, uh, I can say for me that it's definitely uh, not the case. Alright, so one of the things I want to talk about is the camera. So the standard camera on here is uh, it's good and everything. It takes great pictures, but... I found out about Gcam for this guy and it takes such uh, great photos. Um, I've been taking some really great photos. I mean the color and everything and the sharpness and the uh, you know this the processing of Gcam. If you don't know what Gcam is, it's pretty much a port from the Google Pixel phones. So if you don't know, uh, Google Pixel has the uh, the best camera in any smartphone in my opinion. Um, I tried it in the 3A and it was great. And uh, it's nice to have this camera app in here. Now, this is definitely not the uh, it's not the fastest, especially with the pop-up camera, uh, as you can see. I'll show you guys. And then look at that. I'll go back. And then you see how slow it is. Now, let's do it with the regular camera. And you see, it's just faster. Uh, so that's the only thing, but it is a port and it is constantly uh, being updated and it just takes so much better photos. So if you want to, you know, take uh, the best photos or get the best uh, image quality out of this phone, definitely download the Gcam. I'll put the link in the description. Everything still works. The uh, telephoto lens you can still get to. The wide angle lens you can still get to. The only thing that does not work in this uh, app is the what was it? It was like uh, Photosphere. No, that wasn't it. It was something like slow motion. Oh yeah, it was some yeah. Video sometimes crashes on this on this app. So you know it. Like I said, it's bug it's buggy. But yeah, you see what I mean. So you know I would you know use both. Uh, use the regular camera for video, but you know it is what it is. Uh, but it's definitely worth having on your phone. Uh, next, let's discuss battery life on here. So, uh, battery life has been very good. As you can see, I'm on 44% and I still have 17 uh, hours left on this phone. So, my experience with battery life on this phone, I'm getting about a day and a half of battery life, uh, which is great. Um, so, no complaints there. Um, I think the best battery life I had was on the Human Digi F1 still uh, because that really will get you through like two days. But this phone does really good on battery life even when you're playing games and stuff like that so no issues there one of the things that's really hard to do is to move on to a phone that has a notch uh, so once you get a full screen display phone 
and then you know you're just not gonna want to see a notch anymore especially when you're watching videos and stuff uh, going back to the uh, like the p20 light or something like that or watching videos on it you notice the notch I used to didn't notice it but now you notice stuff like that when you come from this phone so if you're using this phone and um, or you're thinking about buying this phone just know that you're definitely gonna have a problem going back to phones that have a little notch or a punch hole you're just gonna you're not gonna want to see anything uh, which is great uh, that's one of the things I love about this phone a full screen display it's gonna be hard for me to go back to a phone uh, and use it as my daily driver with a punch hole or a notch because I just really love the full screen display uh, so overall the Xiaomi uh, Mi 9T has been a really great phone I really love this phone so far it has not slowed down yet uh, that was one thing I was looking out for uh, my UI is actually very very good I haven't had any issues there's lots of customizations you can do and all that good stuff and uh, yeah it's just an awesome phone to use uh, so far so thanks for watching this video and I will catch you guys in the next one